So I finally found it, uh, teaching. And uh, I've never given up on that sense. World famous, the most cited communication scholar in the discipline, um, the super busy, always has something going on, always doing something, and yet if a student asks, can I get, see you to talk about my thesis, my dissertation, my research ideas, he whips out his appointment book and, you know, I think, okay, maybe he's going to schedule something for three weeks from now, four weeks from now. So um, I'm available tomorrow at two. Does that work for you? He was always so accessible. He went out and looked for his students. And he looked for them wherever he could find them, anywhere in the world. He had, in, in the, when I was there, he had students from about 14 or 15 nations around him all the time. He found the best that he could find wherever they were in the world. I'm here in India on this trip mainly with a colleague, uh, a doctoral student in the Annenberg School of Communication at the University of Southern California where I teach in Los Angeles. Uh, his name is Arvind Singhal. Uh, this will be his PhD dissertation and uh, it is uh, a study I think of much significance. Perhaps it's all said best in uh, Dr. Martin Bowman's uh, PhD dissertation at the University of Wageningen in the Netherlands. Uh, her dissertation, the main title is um, The Turtle and the Peacock. The, the Peacock and the, and the Turtle. Welcome to the uh, students in uh, INCO 710, uh, the course on information diffusion at the University of Ohio, um, taught by Professor Arvin Singal. Uh, how did you first get interested in entertainment education? How did that begin for you, Arvind? So, uh, thank heavens we're where we're at today, and it's for young scholars like yourselves mm -hmm. to carry on where the old people uh, didn't make it. Somebody asked him a question, Professor Rogers, what's your secret of mentor, mentorship? How do you have so many little, I don't know what the term was, uh, Rogers children, or you know, you're the sort of the mother hen running around? And uh, he paused, and I overheard him. Uh, he said, all my life, what I've tried to do is to plant uh, little acorns and uh, watch them uh, grow into trees. And so I think that's what he teaches us about mentorship. Uh, he uh, was a person who believed in human beings, who uh, nurtured and nourished human beings who, uh, uh, who just connected with people in ways that only he could.